Good afternoon everyone, this is Alex once again and welcome to day one of this um, food box that I'm trying out. So I let Habi choose which menu we're going to start today. So today we're going to start with herb pan fried flounder with a um, curry tartar sauce, broccoli and crushed carrots and potatoes. So it's it's like a mashed potato with carrots. So here are the ingredients that we're going to use from the box. So here we have the ingredients. Here's the fish. We have the flindra or flounder, three pieces inside, which is total of 100, gra uh, um, 100 grams each, so 300 grams. And then we have one head of broccoli, two pieces of carrots, the remoulade or tartar sauce, the curry. We have one lime and then here are the potatoes. First thing we should do is according to the instruction is peel the carrots and wash the potatoes and boil that together and then that's it. We're going to make the mash out of that and then we combine these two for our sauce. And then we have this and then we'll use the, the uh, air fryer to heat this up instead of using the oven. And then we prepare all the ingredients. And then once all the ingredients are prepared, I'm going to get back to you. Okay, we are back. So we prepared all the ingredients that we need. So we've taken out the cover. Here's the fish ready to be air fried there. I'm not going to switch that on yet. That would be the last one that I'm going to be preparing. Then we have cut out the broccoli. I didn't use the whole uh, flour or the whole uh, bulb. I just used half of it. And then we have here our potatoes and carrots and the stock from the broccoli. I peeled it and then I just cut it up um, in chunks and then put it here and then put a teaspoon of salt in this. I didn't peel the carrots either. I want it to be rustic. Same with the potatoes. So that is ready to start boiling. We'll start with the potatoes and carrots because that's the one that takes the long time to do. And while that's boiling, here is the water as well for our broccoli when we blanch the broccoli later for our garnish. And then here we have the remoulade or the mayonnaise tartar. And then we have the curry powder. And we also have here the lime zest. So what we do is we start with the potatoes. Let's switch that on so it starts boiling there we go and then we start mixing this while waiting for that to get boiled we mix the remoulade and the curry powder with a zest a juice of the lemon okay let's do that okay now I have the remoulade or the tartar sauce here with the lime juice and half of the curry powder so all we have to do now is just mix this and i also added about a tablespoon of water into it i might need to add a little bit more so we could so to thin this out a bit since it's too thick to make the sauce i think i'll add more curry well let's just add everything hubby loves the curry Okay, we have that there. So let's mix that. Let me add a little bit more water or juice into it. Ooh, no more lemon juice that's sour already. Just a little bit of water to tea it out a bit. All right, so our air fryer is now preheated. I had put it in 200 degrees. So now let's put in the fish. 
There we go. Let's put that in there. And then we put our air fryer on, but we let's send the temperature to 190 and let's have it for 10 minutes. Let's cook that there. And then here we have our potato and carrots. I've already taken out the water, added two tablespoons of butter, salt and pepper, grounded salt and pepper. So now all we have to do, plus half the juice, uh, half a lime, uh, juice from a half of the other lime from the sauce that we made earlier. So here we just roughly crush this coarse crush it doesn't have to be fine we want it to be rustic and here on the other pot pot uh, smaller casserole is our water it's starting to boil then we start putting the broccoli in it let me get the teaspoon i use for the butter and let's mix this up Okay, I think that's it. It says roughly crush the potatoes and carrots. I think for me, that's roughly crushed already. And here we have the broccoli. Let's drop it into our boiling water. Let's get a sprinkling of salt there. And then we'll just blanch that for a few minutes and then take out the hot water and then ice cold water afterwards so it doesn't cook more. We just want to blanch this for about two minutes to three minutes max. All right, the broccoli has been boiling and then we took out the water drained it and then blanch it quickly with an ice cold water and that's it so it would be nice bright green like that now we are just waiting for the fish and then we are ready to plate okay so we're now doing our we've done our plating there is the mashed potato or not really mashed potato but coarsely crushed potatoes and carrots so it's like mashed potatoes rustic and then here is the fish that we finished plating in our plate we have the potatoes or curry tartar sauce i had put two fish uh, slices of flounder in here and then we have our blanched broccoli and a wedge of lime so here's the finished product. Okay, judgment. Clean plate. This was the plate of hubby since it's two pieces of fish, which is 200 grams. And this is what's left. The, the mash. Approved. Yes. Is it? Yes. Okay, that's good. How was the taste? Yeah, I'm not fresh. Sure. Fresh? Good. So let's do a recap. So we just finished the dinner. Hubby liked the food. He had two pieces of the fish and I had one one piece. But for me, I think for us, it would be best to have two pieces each as we love to eat. But for someone with a small appetite, it's more than good enough. And then one of the things that I've adjusted in the instruction, it said use your oven, but I use the air fryer as it is faster for me to preheat and set aside than using the oven, but with the same temperature as um, recommended. And then for me, it got even more crispy by using the air fryer. So if you have air fryer at home, just use that. And uh, I highly recommend it. As for the instruction, it was easy to follow. So if you're a beginner cook, 
it would be easy for you to prepare this dish as everything is already, most of them are pre-cooked already and all you have to do is just, um, like the fish is pre-cooked, all you have to do is just heat it up till crisp. And then the vegetables is just to be boiling it and then just mixing it up and then same with the broccoli and then the sauce as well is to just mix up and combine. But if you want to have more tasting of curry, then you add more spice if you want, like I did, I added more curry to the sauce. And then for the um, the mash or the crushed vegetable, potato and carrots, I didn't peel them because I wanted to be rustic to, min to retain the vitamins and minerals from the vegetables. So that's how, how I like preparing my veg, especially if it's baby potatoes and carrots. So as long as you wash them good and properly and everything, they got all the dirt and there's no problem keeping the skin on. So tomorrow, next dish would be ravioli. That's what hubby chosen. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, stay home and stay safe. Bye for now.